Okay, so for this recipe, even though it's not shown, I'm, I'm going to be using ground chuck. Um, sharp cheddar cheese, mild cheddar cheese, two jars of sauce, and of course I'll add my seasonings as I go because I'm not sure what seasonings I want to use. But I'll definitely be using garlic powder and pepper and seasoning salt. Okay, so um, I'm going to get started. So right now I have the um, ground beef browning along with the um, onions and green peppers. I didn't add the seasonings yet, but once this browns and I strain it, then I'll add up my seasoning. By the way, I'll be using elbow macaroni noodles. By the way, um, I started the water for the macaroni noodles and I'm just going to add a little bit of salt to it. Okay. So, um, like I said, I just uh, strained the ground beef and now I'm going to return it to the pot and begin my seasoning. Now I'm going to use a very um, generous amount of garlic powder as usual. I love garlic flavor and um, I'm going to add some onion powder. Okay, like I said, I'm gonna add a little bit, a little bit of onion powder. A little black pepper. Something's missing. Okay, well, I was, I thought I had the Italian seasoning. I guess I have to get some more. So, um, I'll just add some seasoning and salt. a little more and then I'm gonna add um, a little more garlic powder and a little more onion powder and then I'm gonna mix that up now that I brought my water to a boil I'm just gonna salt it up really well and I'm going to add the whole box of noodles I never end up using the whole box, but I like to add the whole box. That way I can gradually add it um, to my sauce mixture, and that way I don't have to worry about it being too dry or not having, you know, enough, um, not having enough noodles or having, too, like, too little noodles and too much sauce. But I don't waste the remainder of the noodles that are left over. I'll probably just use the leftover noodles and do like a macaroni salad or something um, depending on how much sauce or whatever I use. So um, I'm just going to let this boil for about uh, about four minutes. That's it because the, the um, macaroni noodles will continue to cook in the oven and then once I let this boil for the four minutes then I'm gonna rinse it with cold water and all that's gonna do is stop the whole um, cooking process okay so it's been four minutes and like I said I'm just gonna run I'm gonna run some cold water over these to stop the cooking process because like I said I undercooked them a little bit because they will continue cooking in the oven anyway so I'm just gonna run some cold water over I'm going to make sure your hands are clean and just my hands are clean. Today. So, um, like I said, once the noodles are strained, they should be like, they should separate easy. They shouldn't be like clumped together or anything. So now, like I said, I'm going to gradually add, so I'm gradually adding um, the noodles to a nice size of uh, mixing bowl. I'm actually using the top of my cake pan because I like to have like space to stir my things up and whatever. Now I'm going to take some sauce and like I said, I'm going to pour some sauce on and then I'm going to continue gradually adding the noodles. That way I'll know whether I need to use more sauce or less noodles or more noodles and less sauce. 
Now I'm using about to pour some sauce. This is um, tomato, onion, and garlic. Well, actually, it's chopped tomato, olive oil, and garlic. Um, I'm gonna pour some in. And obviously, I need to add more noodles. So like I said, I'm just gradually adding the noodles and sauce to see what I need to use more or less of. So I'm still mixing. And you can already tell I need more sauce. By the way, um, I have the cheese. So I'm gonna get that. Already grated. This is just some sharp and mild cheddar cheese. So I'm gonna gradually add that as well. And then I have some leftover um, for when the, the food is almost done. Like I said, if I were to bake it like this, it would be really dry. And this is gonna be baked uncovered. So. And like I said, the cheese I'm using is sharp cheddar and mild cheddar. Now I'm definitely going to add more noodles. Like I said, this is going to be baked. Um, uncovered so I have to be careful you know not to have enough sauce do not want it to dry out I did use two jars of um, two jars of spaghetti sauce. So at this point, I'm not going to add any more noodles. So I got my cheese. I have everything mixed up. Like I said, I'm not going to use any more noodles. Um, this is the amount of noodles that were left over. And like I said, I'll probably just do like a small macaroni salad or something. Okay, so I've already put the mix in a glass baking dish. Um, I like to do like casserole or whatever in a baking dish. However, if you don't have that, you can use your disposable aluminum pans, whatever. Um, I like those too. So, 350 degree preheated oven, uncovered for 30 minutes. Um, during the last 10 minutes, I am going to put my cheese. Like I said, I had some cheese put away. I'm gonna top. Um, I'm gonna top it with cheese during the last 10 minutes. So, like I said, 20 minutes uncovered. I'll take it out, put the cheese on, let it cook another 10 minutes with the cheese on top. 
So it's been 20 minutes and this is um, what it looks like. Now I'm just gonna take some cheese and and sprinkle it on top. And like I said, I'm gonna let this cook the remaining um, 10 minutes in the oven uncovered. So this is it, it's all done. It's the beefaroni casserole. And I'm gonna let this sit for probably about, I don't know, 20 to 30 minutes because I want it to get uh, somewhat settled. And um, then I'll take and put some on the plate or whatever as usual, but yeah. That's it. Make sure you stay tuned for the upcoming tutorial. It's actually going to be um, a re-upload, but like I said, I'll show that at the end of this um, video. Okay. All right. So it's been approximately three minutes that I let it set. Okay. So it has been set for 30 minutes I've already took a piece out and put it on the plate as you can see so that's it uh, baked beefaroni casserole and another great easy dish to make and like I said stay tuned for the up and coming video um, it's just gonna be a more updated version of this re-upload video or whatever so I will talk to you later Bye.